Hey, Lauren Fritch here, and I do sound a little stuffy. Please excuse me, I might hack during this video. What I wanted to ask you today is, are you living up to your potential? Now, I freaking hate that word potential because I feel like when people say it to you, it's sort of a backhanded compliment. Like, oh, you have so much potential. Like, in high school, or even earlier, people would be like, you had so much athletic potential. You know, I have athletic genes. All of us were college athletes. And, you know, yes, I'm tall and naturally muscular, but that basically means, like, my skill set isn't there yet, you know? And on the one hand, that could be motivating. Oh, I have so much potential. Now I'm going to work hard and get better, which I did. You know, I was that kid in the gym late at night at boarding school practicing because I wanted my jump to be higher and I wanted to have better skills um, for volleyball. But the other thing that is interesting about potential is that it can actually feed that self-critic, the inner critic who is going, see, you could be doing better, but you're not. And that's the reason that I really just wish that that word potential were not so much used. So my question to you is, again, are you living up to your potential? Do you know that there is more for you and yet you feel like you're not there? I know I have and do feel that way. And when that happens, there's one key thing that I do. It's not to go improve my skill set. Although I've done that. I've taken more and more courses. I've signed up for more and more certifications. And ultimately, that's not going to help me live up to my potential. No. The secret is actually very, very simple. The secret to being done with potential and to being and living as the amazing, talented leader you are is actually just to start recognizing that you are already there. Yeah, you're already there. And whether you feel like you're at the beginning of your journey, or you feel like you keep circling over the same place over and over and feeling frustrated, the key to surpassing potential is to realize how amazing you are in this present moment. So, kick your potential to the curb, get present, and let me know how it goes. Peace.